using I statements. Statements that begin with I, from my perspective, or the way I see it, make it clear that you are speaking for yourself. I statements focus on your experience, thoughts, feelings, reactions, and decisions, and not on any beliefs or judgments you may have made about the other person. Conveying what you feel in a matter-of-fact way provides a non-confrontational solution to get your voice heard and acknowledged. Sentences that begin with you, such as you always or you are, make broad, inaccurate generalizations about the other person and often leads to the other person feeling blamed and judged. If you're using I statements, it becomes difficult to make accusatory assumptions about the other person's intentions or behavior. I felt intimidated by your response has quite a different impact than you are aggressive with me. So how do you turn a you statement into an I statement? First, remember that the point of an I statement is to express how you feel inside. That's why they're often called I feel statements. A true I statement uses specific emotions such as I feel joyful, anxious, lonely, resentful, angry, calm, embarrassed, fearful, and so on. Avoid words that may seem like emotions, but really imply the action of your partner. I feel ignored, annoyed, pissed off, mistreated, manipulated, controlled, cheated, abandoned, and so forth. It is also a common misperception that you can tack on the words I feel in front of a you statement. For example, I feel like you are taking me for granted. That is just a you statement in disguise. It implies blame and there is no actual emotion being expressed.